What is up you guys, Ishii the server here. Uh, it's Tuesday, it is uh, 3.15, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day actually. Um, change of plans, I decided to do uh, Postmates uh, in the afternoon instead. I wanted to spend time uh, with my family in the morning. And another thing too, the reason why I decided to do it later on is because I want to see if I actually make more in the afternoon for like during dinner time. Um, thing is, it's like yesterday I was at home and I kept getting a lot of notifications on my app saying that there's a high call volume so i'm like oh you know what maybe it's best for me to do it now you know in the afternoon to see how it goes and if you guys have not watched my video that i uploaded feel free to watch it if not no hard feelings it was quite of an experience yesterday um i'm gonna start now actually not really i need to start i need to get gas so if you guys are at home bored Feel free to watch this video what's it like doing it in the afternoon and for you all postmate drivers uber uh, doordash or any of you guys that do um, deliveries if i were you guys start doing it now take advantage um, make that extra money and i know i decided to do this later on but i would like to thank my brother for the advice he's given me you know yes i was lazy but i decided to have the mentality of you know what you know, being a server, obviously the tips, um, I haven't made any tips. So this is actually me kind of being a server in a way. Not really, I disagree with that, but making that extra chip, tip will help you a lot. So if you guys are at home, bored, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Seriously need to be careful with this. Seriously. All right guys, so here I am uh, post, thank God, because the reason why I got, you know, I got three deliveries in total. The second delivery was kind of, I was more concerned, Dunkin' Donuts. And you know the customer ordered iced coffee and um, when I was putting the, the order in my in my car I ended up getting another order so the weird thing is that when I was driving to pick up the other order all the way to Southgate which was a drop-off location I was more concerned because you know with traffic and those of you guys that are local around Southgate and uh, Bell Gardens and stuff you guys would know on how it is on the main street you know there's a lot of traffic right there and um, the thing that I was worried about more was because if I'm gonna end up going to another location to pick up that uh, the other customer's food, I'm gonna be more concerned that this drink is gonna end up melting. And I'll, you know, depending on people, they might get mad at us, which isn't our fault. So the good thing is that you know the Dunkin' Donuts uh, drop-off was within distance of that specific restaurant in Southgate. So the good thing it was less than five minutes. I dropped that off. But the worst part is that I had to go all the way to Linwood and I was taking Long Beach Boulevard. And once again, those of you who are familiar around that area, you will know on how traffic is there. As you can see on my screen here, I was actually, you know, getting back to back uh, stops. And of course, you know, the food, depending on how long it was there at the restaurant and me driving it to the customer's location. So the good thing is that, you know, customers do understand that it does take a while because of traffic. So the positive part was that it was more convenient for me because you know the 105 free was a lot closer as you could see there. It's able, I'm able to get to my location uh, to stay local around here uh, in a snap of a finger. So traffic wasn't, it was moderate. But the good thing is that you know the app had the advantage of just you know going offline completely, which I did not want to stay around there. And the reason why I don't want to stay there is just you know the streets and stuff like that and. Maybe in the long run I will, but maybe I won't. You know, I'm more comfortable here because of a lot more restaurants. So yeah, and right now it's uh, 5.10. 
you know I got three deliveries which is cool I got a seven dollar tip and with those two deliveries that I actually had together uh, came out to 13 bucks which I'll give you a summary in, at the end so yeah and just waiting Alright guys, so finally able to have the chance to actually rest. I was waiting for 20 to 25 minutes for an order to be dropped. And it was kind of tricky because you, um, the order that I took to the customer, I couldn't find them. So the good thing is that what I do personally, I call the customer to let them know that I'm you know, at the location where he's at. But the worst part is that when you're looking for a customer, maybe two or three minutes, you get a delivery call dropped to you. Then the worst part is that you, I had two back-to-back -back delivery canceled, so that was, you know, money thrown out the window there. But the good thing is that, you know, I didn't have the chance to talk, so I actually got a delivery right away as soon as I parked. So right now it is 9.20. Um, the good thing about this is that I have to make nine deliveries um, in order for me to get $45 uh, bonus. So let's see what happens there. If not, that's fine. Um, Let's see if it starts getting busy. Didn't have a chance to tell you guys, but let's do this. What is up you guys, Ishii the server here. Um, this is gonna be a weird uh, concluding video for Postmates Block 7 uh, delivery, delivering in the evening. Um, how was it on Tuesday? And you know, I'm gonna give you a summary, but how come I couldn't record? One, you guys would not be able to see me. Two, I could not record in my room, so I'm gonna try to make this short in a way. Uh, right now it's 3.30, so I'm gonna end up eventually coming back at 4.15, 4.20 to do Postmates. But just giving you a heads up you guys, how was it on Tuesday? It wasn't that bad actually. 11 deliveries. I know, right? It was pretty busy. Um, I only had like a 20 to 25 minute uh, rest. You know, just me just waiting for a delivery call to be dropped. Didn't happen. Um, the sad part was that I was supposed to get a $45 bonus offer if I completed 9 deliveries. Unfortunately, that did not happen. And the thing is, it's like, should I be bummed? Not really. I actually made a good amount of money. But when it comes with Benny Hanna's, what I realized is that Benny Hanna's actually keeps giving me long distance delivery um, drop off locations like downtown Watts, which I do not mind. And what I've been thinking is that like a lot of people cancel the delivery, so they're obviously giving it to me, which is an $8 uh, delivery fee or a $10 delivery fee, which is something plus tip. Why not? So the thing is, is that what I realized is that when it comes with Benny Hanna's, I drove to Long Beach and during that time, the worst part is that I was unable to get further delivery uh, calls to be dropped. So the sad part is that, yes, 11 deliveries. How come I didn't reach the 9 delivery mark? Well, fortunately, before I started at 3.40. So the thing is, is that all the deliveries that I started picking up between 4.30 to 8 was valid. Unfortunately, before that, it's obvious it was not valid. So the sad part is that exactly at 8.15, that was my 8th delivery took me about 10 minutes to get there and of course I did not get it which is fine you know I did the best I could do so the only worst part is that I only have problem with one customer and where when it comes with delivering food to uh, apartment complexes you guys need a key or sometimes a code to get in to drop off the food in the customer's doorway you know and I called the guy and he was being kind of rude saying well I give you my room number so you could drop off the food there when it comes with that, many people don't think outside the box that, what if you're not home? You didn't give me a description, which some people do do that. 
what if people decide to like just run away and take the food away and wait for me so the thing is i'm doing a favor for him that i'm preventing his food to get stolen and of course you know he didn't say thank you which is fine you know i'm not gonna end up no hard feelings or anything like that but the thing is when it comes to us delivery drivers um postmates uber doordash i'm pretty sure majority of you guys have that same problem it's just like why get mad at us we're actually doing a nice thing for you guys to be aware of what we're trying to do and prevent unfortunately not so the thing is is that that's the only thing that i have problem with but it was great and um that's the total gas i had i know i filled up that day and um i was driving a lot so i put in about 71 miles for just one day and the total there's a total summary uh it's actually included the tip as well you can see but during that time i actually made i made 83 dollars come on why not that's actually really good so if you guys enjoyed this video once again i apologize for the late upload especially this concluding video once again i might do postmates in the evenings now depending on how i feel so you won't end up getting the concluding video within the next two or three days or if so so if you guys like this video hit that like button if you guys want more upcoming videos hit that subscribe button and thank you guys so much and have a safe day